Hi guys, today I'm happy to announce the public release of the Migaku Chinese add-on. It's currently available for free on Anki Web, so please check the link in the description if you're interested. So let's take a look at what the Migaku Chinese add-on can do. Hi guys, so let's take a really quick look at the Migaku Chinese add-on. A comprehensive guide for it is coming in the very near future. So make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'll announce here when it's been released. Let's go ahead and add a sentence card. Go ahead and press add. And let's take a look at the three note types added by this add-on. We have Migaku Chinese HK, Migaku Chinese TW, and Migaku Chinese ZH. HK is for Cantonese, TW is for traditional Mandarin, and ZH is for simplified Mandarin. Let's go ahead and select ZH and paste in the text. Then to generate readings, we simply press the reading button. You can see that when readings are generated, the traditional form of the sentence is also generated. Let's go ahead and add the card and check it out. Okay, previewing the card, we can see that on the front, it looks like any regular sentence. But on the back, we can see that readings have been added to each character. If there is a mistake, Correcting it is as simple as changing the number of the tone. We can see that changes are instantly reflected. Okay guys, let's take a look at the traditional Chinese support. To add a card for the traditional Chinese note type, go ahead and select the TW note type. And then let's go ahead and paste in some traditional Chinese. You can see that when we generate readings for this note type, by default, it generates Bopomofo for the readings. Let's go ahead and add this card and take a look. It's important to note that if you prefer, you can change the settings to use Pinyin for traditional characters or Bopomofo for simplified characters. Last but not least, let's take a look at the Cantonese support. Okay, let's change our note type to HK and go ahead and generate the reading. We can see that the readings that have been generated are Cantonese readings. Let's go ahead and add the card and take a look. Okay guys, we can see that this card now uses Cantonese. There are quite a few more features that Migaku Chinese supports, such as custom colors and even real-time conversion. And I'm sure there will be many more features coming in the near future as well. Okay, so again guys, if you're interested, please check the link in the description below. And actually, in tandem with the release of the Migaku Chinese add-on, I'm also happy to be releasing German deconjugation functionality for the Migaku Dictionary add-on. Okay, simply go to Tools, Add-ons, then go to, to Migaku Dictionary, go to View Files. Once you're in View Files, go to User Files, go to Dictionaries, find your German folder, or whatever you've named it, and go ahead and place the conjugations uh, file into that folder. Then go ahead and you can close this window or minimize it, do whatever you want with it. And then go ahead and restart Anki. Let's go ahead and search Control C space on Windows. And you can see it's going to deconjugate into the proper dictionary form of the word. Okay, that's pretty much it for German deconjugation. I'm going to be adding deconjugation functionality until I've covered all major languages. You can find a necessary file to enable German deconjugation in the Migaku dictionary add-on in the description below. And in tandem with both of these releases, I would like to also announce that a major update for the Immerse with Migaku browser extension is now live on Patreon. The new update works in tandem with the Migaku dictionary plus add-on and fixes some major bugs that we were seeing, as well as adds new functionality, such as always stay on top mode for Migaku Dictionary Plus. I'm really excited about it, and if you like, you can check it out now on the Migaku Patreon account. If not, again, that's okay. The Migaku browser extension will be making a public release in the not too distant future. If you're interested in joining the Migaku community on Reddit, or have an issue you need help with, 
please consider joining the Immerse with Migaku subreddit or getting help on the official Migaku support subreddit. Like and comment this video for your chance to become a visiting VIP. At the end of every month, I will choose people from the comment sections of my videos to become visiting VIPs. Visiting VIPs will get all the same perks as the dev team here on Patreon. So if you're interested in taking a behind the scenes look at the Migaku Discord community or getting free access to Migaku software projects, please leave a like and a comment below. And last but not least, I would like to thank everyone on Patreon for their support. And that of course also includes the $1 leech tier. Thank you so much leeches. And thanks everyone else for watching. I hope you find these releases useful.